Hello, welcome to Hat Room. This is Paranoia Moo. Hey, my name is Owen, and I'm here with Julia, Kia, and Riley. Today, we are testing out my paranoia. My job is to sit facing the camera whilst everybody tells me horror stories. Let's find out how scared they can make me. Oh, and one last thing to point out. I'm in a dark bedroom surrounded by candles with a mirror and a chinchilla running around behind me. It's not much fun. So, um, are you ready? <laughs> I think so, I mean... Last night, a friend rushed me out of the house to catch the opening act at a local bar's music night. After a few drinks, I realised my phone wasn't in my pocket. I checked the table we were sitting at, the bar, the bathrooms, and after no luck, I used my friend's phone to call mine. After two rings, someone answered, gave out a low, raspy giggle, and hung up. They didn't answer again. I eventually gave it up as a lost cause and headed home. I found my phone lying on my nightstand, right where I left it. Okay. <laughs> alright, alright, that was, that was good. Mummy told me never to go to the basement, but I wanted to see what was making that noise. It kind of sounded like a puppy, and I wanted to see the puppy. So I opened the basement door and tiptoed down a bit. I didn't see a puppy. And then Mummy yanked me out of the basement and yelled at me. Mummy has never yelled at me before, and it made me sad, and I cried. Then Mummy told me never to go into the basement again, and she gave me a cookie. That made me feel better, so I didn't ask her why the boy in the basement was making noises like a puppy, or why he had no hands or feet. F***ing hell, I got a I just got chills down my spine. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good voice. <laughs> I don't know, I wonder so why he didn't have a hand in <laughs> Oh, that's creepy. What the f*** is that? <laughs> there is <laughs> genuinely- No, get that please for me. Please. You want no, 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 the, the thing behind it. Oh, that's off. No, oh, it's chicks! I didn't even oh, realise, it looks like a face. Uh, I'm gonna outline this on the actual video. You, you can, can see it, it very yeah. well. You can see it quite well. It looks like a face. I looked over I mean, there <laughs> and I thought it was a face. That's the He's got a point. I mean, like, I'm just gonna put that back. It's like closet. big buck yeah, teeth yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Okay, I've got paranoia in my veins. Let's go. <laughs> I began tucking him into bed, and he tells me, "Daddy, check for monsters under my bed." I look underneath for his oh, amusement, no. and I see another him under his bed, staring back at me, quivering and risk whispering, "Daddy, there's somebody on my bed." That's the story. Daddy, there's someone on my bed. <laughs> and that's the last line! <laughs> <laughs> You're doing well, honey. You're yeah, doing good so far. I'm... <laughs> oh, no, that is such an intimidating voice. What? That's my normal voice. <laughs> You're doing so well. <sighs> hey, Owen. Do you, do you want to just... Um... Do you, do you want to just let everybody know about how you're scared of mirrors? Oh no! No! <laughs> no! Is a no, this isn't yes, a mirror so. story. It is a mirror story. No! I'm gonna cry. Okay, go. Just a mirror. Just the word mirror makes me shiver. That's I will. Sorry. Shut <laughs> that, That's my right, first of all. <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh my god. That genuinely. He just saw his own face. Why does that scare me? I just saw my own face because yeah, you can because basically it. Tia was like, oh, there's a mirror to your left. And I was like, no, it's always to my right. Then I looked to my left and I just <laughs> saw a different version of my face. I woke up to hear knocking on glass. At first, I thought it was the window until I heard it come from the mirror again. Is that it? That's it. Okay, that wasn't as bad as that I thought. That wasn't as bad. Uh, no. Now I'm just Ooh. saying puns. Oh, chills. Oh. <laughs> I might have, what are they called, like, shuttlecocks? Goosebumps. Goosebumps! <laughs> Shuttlecocks! <laughs> goosebumps. I might have goosebumps soon. Okay, the worst part about all this is just the footsteps that I can hear. Oh my god, he's right there! <laughs> I thought he jumped to the floor! She, she's hiding behind the back. Oh, Good she's for scared. him. You scared, you scared. Her. Her. It's a she. 
Her name's Kiwi. Okay. Kiwi. 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 <laughs> How can you be scared of sweet little Kiwi? A man was taking a shower in the bathroom. He was Fuck reaching you. for his towel when he saw something in the bathroom mirror. It was a strange shadow, and as soon as he laid his eyes on it, it darted out of the line of vision. He stared at the mirror for a while, trying to figure out what he'd seen. When he began to dry himself again, out of the corner of his eye he saw another shadow flickering past in the mirror. He walked towards the mirror, put his hands against the glass and began no. rubbing it. No. When his no. wife, a wife arrived to him later that evening, he was nowhere to be found. After searching the house from top to bottom calling her husband's name, she became very worried. The only trace she could find of him was a wet towel lying on the bathroom floor. She phoned the police and reported her husband missing. Two days later, the man's wife disappeared too. It appears she had just suddenly vanished. The clothes she had been wearing that day were lying on the bathroom floor, and the shower in the bathroom was still running. Police found her handprint on the bathroom mirror. Neither the man nor her wife, his wife had been seen since. That was pretty <laughs> horrible. I did have chills all the way through that. I do hate mirrors because isotropophobia is a thing. I don't know what else to say. Do you, are you scared of being buried alive? Uh, not as much not actually. Really. Don't be scared of the monsters. Just look for them. Look to your left. Mm. Look to your right. Uh, under your bed. No. <laughs> behind your dresser. Ah! In your closet. But never look up. She hates being seen. I'm not looking up. I wouldn't look behind you either. <laughs> no! Stop! <laughs> that movie jumped. <laughs> it didn't make me jump. <laughs> I, wasn't. I think you should be tired. <laughs> yeah. I think so. What? <laughs> what? I don't get that one. You're meant to cast Ooh. one shot. Oh! What was that? What? Did it grab me? No, Maybe. Maybe? It actually it grabbed me. That's... <laughs> she could have... She, she could have bit your shirt. Yeah. Oh. oh, Kiwi, thank you for playing into the video. I swear. A man was awakened by a clap of thunder. He lay in bed looking at the shadows cast in the darkened bedroom. He was looking at the mirror on his bedroom wall, where suddenly a flash of lightning illuminated the room. The man was terrified. For a split second he had seen faces staring at him from inside the mirror. Their eyes blackened, their mouths oh. hanging open. Unsettled by the weird appearances... Enderman. <laughs> he was unable to sleep for the rest of the night. His mind kept replaying the memory of those disturbing faces staring at him intensely. The next morning he removed the mirror from his bedroom wall, locked it in the storage room. The next night he slept like a baby. Days passed and the memory of those horrible faces began to fade. One morning he woke up and went to the bathroom to take a shower. He got off the shower and was drying himself with a towel. When he happened to look up at the bathroom mirror, the steam from the shower had fogged up the mirror and revealed a message written in moisture. It read, Please return the mirrors. We miss watching you sleep at night. <laughs> That one even gives me shit that I hate it. Oh, oh. <laughs> Make sure you have no mir mirrors in your bedroom so they can't watch you sleep. Okay. Uh, actually, yeah, I think I'm fine. Mm -hmm. This f***ing chinchilla isn't fine. <laughs> a few years ago, a mother and father decided they needed a break, so they wanted to head out for a night on the town. They called their most trusted babysitter. When the babysitter arrived, the two children were already fast asleep in bed. So the babysitter just sat around and made sure everything was okay with the children. Later that night, the babysitter got bored and went to watch TV. But she couldn't watch it downstairs because they didn't have cable downstairs. The parents didn't want their children watching too much garbage. So she called them and asked if she could watch cable in the parents' room. Of course the parents said it was okay, but the babysitter had one final request. She asked if they could cover up the angel statue outside the bedroom window with a blanket or a cloth because it made her nervous. The phone went silent for a moment. Oh. And, and the was, father... There was never an angel statue. The father who was talking to the babysitter at the time said, Take the children out of the house. We'll call the police. We don't own an angel statue. 
The police found both the children and the babysitter slumped in pools of their own blood within three minutes of the call. No statue was found. Oh no. That reminds me of like, I haven't seen Doctor Who, but that fucking what are they called? Weeping Angels. The Weeping Angels. <sighs> well, they come closer and closer to you whenever you blink. No. 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 Mm. No. No. Yes. I don't know if I'm having an orgasm or a panic attack. <laughs> What's the difference? Really? What's the difference? <laughs> <laughs> a young girl is playing in her bedroom when she hears her mother call to her from the kitchen. She runs down the stairs to meet her mother. As she's running through the hallway, the door to the cupboard under the stairs opens and a hand reaches out and pulls her in. It's her mother. She whispers to her child, don't go into the kitchen. I heard it too. Oh, yeah. oh! I like that one. Oh, that was a... Oh, oh, that's my worst nightmare. It has been said that the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. I understand the sentiment behind the saying, but it's wrong. I entered the building on a bet. I was strapped for cash and didn't buy into the old legends of the hotel to begin with. So 50 bucks was more than enough to get me do it. It was simple. Just reach the top floor, the 45th floor, shine my flashlight from a window. The hotel was old and broken, including the elevator, so that meant hiking up the stairs. So up the stairs I went. As I reached each platform, I noted the old brass plaques displaying the floor numbers. 15, 16, 17, 18. I felt a little tired as I crept higher. But so far, no ghosts, no cannibals, no demons. Piece of cake. I can't tell you how happy I was as I entered that last stretch of numbers. I joyfully counted them aloud at each platform. 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 44. I stopped and looked back down the stairs. I must have miscounted. So I continued up. 44. One more flight. 44. And then down 10 flights, 44, 15 flights, 44. And so it's been for as long as I can remember. So really, insanity isn't doing something repeatedly and expecting different results. It's knowing the results will never ever change, that each door leads to the same staircase, to the same number. It's realizing you no longer fall asleep. It's not knowing whether you've been running for days or weeks or years. It's when the sobbing slowly turns into laughter. Yeah, we're stopping it there. <laughs> <laughs>